Hello, I'm Koen from uh, brewery Verzet in Anzegem, Belgium, the pearl of Western Europe. Um, and Koen, tell us how did it, this crazy place uh, came together? Um, we started um, with three friends. Uh, we graduated brewing school in 2008. We were the only three graduated that year. So uh, we had to get along, but uh, it was okay. Um, so we, shortly after we uh, graduated, we started uh, brewing in different uh, breweries uh, where we could learn uh, a bit more about uh, the practical size of, uh, of brewing. Um, but to work for a boss, it's, it's kind of boring because we had to follow the recipes. So we wanted to experiment more. And that's why we came together in our spare time to, um, yeah, to, to make new beers, uh, things we liked. Um, and from one thing came another. We, um, we gave it to friends and family, our brews, and uh, they liked it. So that's why we thought about um, starting a business with it. So we wanted to bring our beers in the market. Um, and in 2011, we, we founded this company. Um, it was called Brouwers Verzet at that time, it's a detail. Um, but we didn't have the money to invest uh, in, uh, in our own facility, so that's why we, um, we searched for breweries who allowed us to brew our beers in, in their uh, facilities. Uh, it was really important for us that we could do everything ourselves because we wanted to learn about the craft and the, all the handling in the brewery. Um, we were not interested in, um, in giving our recipe and then just come to collect uh, the beer because that way we, we would just be beer sellers and that's something we're really not good in. Um, so we, we brought our beer to the market um, like that for five years um, and then we, um, we went to the bank to get a loan and to, uh, to invest everything to brew our beer uh, at this spot. So um, starting from 2016, we brew at this place and we, we bottle, we do everything here. Um, and we uh, work full time for, uh, for Tverset. And Tverset is a uh, Flemish slang language for the resistance. Mm -hmm. How did you came up with that name? So um, when we started, we, um, when we looked at the beer market, we, we thought there was not really there were no really uh, real new things going on, so a lot of um, breweries did the same things, uh, made the same beer with the same taste. Uh, we wanted to do things differently, not only uh, the taste of the beer we wanted to experiment with, but also the style of the of the labels, the attitude of the of the brewery. Uh, we were young guys, so it would not make sense to to put a, a monk or or whatever on our label. So. Uh, we made it a little bit uh, more suiting to uh, to our um, environment. I saw at your uh, events you do a yearly oak leaf harvesting. Mm -hmm. Why is that? So yeah, it's a crazy idea. Um, Alex read in, in a book he had at home about what can I do uh, with things in my garden about. Um, uh, a wine you could make with uh, oak leaves just by adding the oak leaves to uh, uh, to sugar water that you ferment. Uh, it's a way to to get more um, oak flavor in your um, in your fermented uh, beverage. So we thought it it could be a cool idea to add this oak leaves to Oudbrein, which already ages for uh, more than a year on the barrels. It, it could give some more. And so we tried it, and it was a really good idea uh, because the taste was uh, was amazing, in our um, opinion. Um, so now every year we uh, collect ten idiots to climb the trees with us and to um, pick uh, leaves all day, um, which we dry and then add to uh, Oudbrein, uh, and we leave it there for uh, six months to age, uh, and it gives. Um, yeah, some tannins, uh, woody and tea-like flavors to, to the Oudbrein. It gives more complexity and, um, uh, and dryness to the beer. You were with uh, three founders, which are also mentioned on the logo. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is now exploring America. 
That's correct. So uh, Joran, the guy um, who lived in this town, um, was the most adventurous guy. So he, um, he didn't doubt when, when he got the offer to, to work in, in the US. So he, um, uh, he helped building a brewery in Atlanta. Uh, and he was the, the brewmaster there for uh, five years. Um, and now he, um, he just founded his own uh, brewery. About a month ago they started. Um, they brew uh, Pilsner styles and pale ales and they sell everything uh, from tap, so no bottles, uh, everything uh, uh, sold in the house. So it's, go it's going very well for him there. How did you replace or attract uh, new talent as the brewery grew? Mm -hmm. So uh, when Joran left, um, we were thinking uh, uh, on the next step for the brewery and we really need uh, a sales guy because uh, none of us three was, was good at selling. So we really needed that talent uh, on board. And uh, there was a guy who, um, who frequently came to the, to the bar we owned at that time. Um, and we thought he was perfect for the job. So we offered him uh, the job. He doubted for a week or two, and then um, we got him on board. And um, he's the most fantastic guy for our brewery, I think. It's one of the, the best uh, decisions we made uh, by um, uh, getting, getting him on, uh, on board.